Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go through the basic way to clean a coffee machine. So you wanna check with your manufacturer the best way to clean their coffee machine, but I'm gonna give you a basic rundown of how to clean most uh, coffee machines. So essentially what we do is start by cleaning the rubber seal. We can do that uh, with a group cleaning brush. That gets all the junk around the rubber seal out, and we can see all this junk falling down here now. Then we get our blind filter in, replacing the filter there. So we pull that out, and we're gonna clean all this mess here uh, after we've cleaned the group head. So basically we lock our blind filter, and then select a button to have the water flowing. You might be doing this with a lever, but just, just rinse off all the junk on the, uh, away from the rubber seal that we've just uh, agitated with the brush. We then get our cleaning powder and put a little bit, just, just a teaspoon, no more. Pop the lid back on the cleaning powder so as to keep it fresh. It does need to have its foaming action. So when you're doing this clean, it can reach up into all the places uh, that it needs to get to to soften up the coffee oil. So we'll lock that in and we'll turn that on three or four times, on enough to build up the pressure to nine bar. It's actually when it's turned off that it's throwing all that soapy water back through the line and now it's foaming up and starting to soften up the oils in the group head that we're trying to remove. So three or four times, on and off. Now we let it sit for three minutes. I recommend putting three minute timer on because three minutes is long enough to walk away and forget actually that you're cleaning the coffee machine, particularly in a commercial environment. And you don't actually want to let that chemical sit there for extended periods of time because it will dry out and set. And basically then you won't be able to open your electro valve. Okay, so it's been three minutes and we're going to now activate the group head as we did before, but now we're gonna do that six times, on and off. On, enough to build up to nine bars of pressure, and off. It's the off which is blasting out all of the loosened up oils. On and off, six times. Six times is generally enough to blast out and take advantage of all the soap. And basically when you're finished with the uh, six times, there really shouldn't be too much soap left in the porter filter. So now we remove that and give a little jiggle. I like just to rinse off, get rid of all the soap, and then we lock it in again, and six more times just with the fresh water, so as to blast out any little bit of soap that's left. It's also important, after doing those six times, just to make one espresso and let it go to the drain, or throw it away, discard it. And that way, you've got a nice, clean group head, able to taste fresh coffee once again. Okay, so now that we've cleaned the group head, we actually want to now clean the coffee handle. When we finished, we can remove that, and it's these items here that we want to get all of the oils off. So you actually just soak that in hot water with a little bit of the same soap that you use for cleaning the group head, but don't soak it up, up to the handle. Just the bell here of the porter filter, just the metal parts, soak them all five, 10 minutes, and then come back and with a, you don't have to go with a too aggressive cloth, but just wipe all the oils out and then you'll taste your um, fresh coffee. With regards to the steam wand, when you're finished to do every coffee, you really should be wiping that free. It should never build up with milk on it. And you should also give a little purge so that milk doesn't build up in the steam tips. If you did let it build up, don't ever soak the steam wand in any sort of solution. That has the ability to get sucked back into the boiler and can contaminate your boiler. So with regards to the exterior of the coffee machine, microfiber cloth is all you need. No need for chemicals. Just use a, a dampened microfiber cloth and it'll come up uh, looking brand new. So thanks for watching. I hope you got something from that. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact us via our website, espressoservicesplus.com.au.